first of all, we did a no situation analysis. That is, we, ex we um, investigated the entrepreneurial landscape. What is the, the drivers for uh, entrepreneurship in Norway, Sweden, and Finland? And then we looked at the industry structure, the how do people uh, react toward entrepreneurship and what do they do? What kind of actions do they do? How much firms do they start? What kind of firms do they start? Where do they start firms? And then the consequences, how, how much do they achieve? So we, we kind of, uh, uh, for instance, in, in Sweden, there is a lot of big industries, like Saab. And, so it is quite easy to get employed. So people would like to get employed there. And in Norway, we are quite innovative, we invent stuff, but we don't really bother about if it, we could sell it. When we have invented it, we are, well, we are finished then. So there are different drivers for entrepreneurship in Norway, Sweden, and Finland. And then we described our, uh, our educational offerings, like what kind of knowledge do we want our students to have? What kind of motivation do we provide them with in order to achieve that kind of knowledge? And which actions do we uh, force our students to undertake in for, for incorporating that kind of knowledge? So we describe our educational offerings on knowledge, motivation, and action in order to, to show what, ki what kind of pedagogical tools we were trying to use and what were our goals for this. Mm -hmm. That was the no situation analysis. And then we did a stakeholder analysis where we asked government, the county, municipality, the industry and development agency and entrepreneurship promoters, the local community, university management, teachers and students about what are your goals, what is your aspirations, do you have any suggestions for improvements? What should we deliver? And this we did in Norway, Sweden and Finland. So we know something about what is expected from us among those who has a, a legitimate interest in our deliveries. And of course, the sources for inspiration was other universities, our own practice, and uh, theory. So based on this, we were then able to describe what kind of uh, educational offerings should we have, and how should we uh, change our educational offerings. Uh, we saw that our students average at start and average at end on perceived control about our knowledge, about how, w how would you uh, think that you will be able to do stuff like guide others, start your own firm, develop routines as an employee, being a social entrepreneur. So and we, s we see that the educational offering they actually increase their knowledge. 